I haven't made a GCSE related video in some time so today I'm going to be talking about how you can do well in your GCSE mocks because around this time last year I had my own GCSE mocks for year 11. I mean you can watch the video on my results if you haven't already. Because I've done it now I think I have more expertise in giving you guys some tips. I'll be talking about when you should start revising for these mocks if you even have them at the same time I do. I think it depends on the score and also things like how you should be revising for these mocks and like what you're actually meant to do because I remember when I was doing mine it was really clear we didn't really get much information we were just told to revise and normally we just do our end of years in our classrooms and things so it was all completely different and um, today I just want to give you a bit of guidance on how that's going to be if there's one thing you're taking away from this video just revise for these uh, and yeah let's just get straight into it <laughs> I started uh, a week before my mocks and my mocks took I think it was two weeks or one week I can't remember and I started revising for them seriously a week before I basically have different stages of revision so technically throughout all of year 11 I was always revising but it wasn't very serious revision it was all like so uh, if you haven't watched my video it would make more sense if you watch that it would be in the top right wherever that is but um, basically throughout the year I would do this thing called relax revision and basically every day I would spend like an hour max just going over my flashcards. That was it, I would not do anything else for my revision, I'd just do that and homework and nothing else. But when exams came around, so like you know the end of half term assessments and things, then I moved to serious study which was basically where on top of my flashcards I tried to also do a few practice questions um, and then you've got like your preparation practice, that's what I called it, just check the video. Um, and basically for my mocks themselves a week before I started doing like as many practice questions as I could I would say that the most important thing you can do is pass paper practice on top of actually learning the content so for your mocks I would say that the pass paper practice isn't really important you don't need to do four pass papers for your revision because I mean you can't there's a lot of subjects where you just have missing information that you haven't learned yet you can't really do a pass paper on it so I would suggest trying to find those like PMT topic questions or um, if you search exam pro worksheet for like the sciences you can find like this list of like 60 plus questions on a specific topic and it's like way more questions than you need uh, but I recommend doing as much practice as possible but for now prioritizing actually knowing all the information uh, because I would say it's not that important to do like a month's worth of practice from beforehand I would say keep that for your GCSE themselves but I would never say one thing I think I did make a mistake on was um, I said oh I'm not going to do this practice questions thing I'm going to save it for my GCSEs don't do that because by the time I got to my GCSEs I remember I had like so many practice questions and I gave myself so much time to actually do them but I still didn't manage to complete all of them so the more practice questions you can do for your mocks the better I would say uh, my suggestion would be to start revising for your mocks a week or two weeks beforehand um, I would say it really depends on how well you know the content already uh, and one big thing you need to do for your mocks is to focus primarily on your weaker subjects. I would say that for GCSE you're trying to be like all rounded and everything, uh, at least for me, but for mocks I was more just trying to make sure that those bottom subjects like DT for example, I was trying to push them up because I knew practically nothing about the subject and so it was more trying to get everything good enough rather than being really good at some subjects and then just flopping the other one so uh, yeah I hope that sort of makes sense but if it doesn't I do have a load of GCC mocks videos that you can watch and hopefully they might help you as well and if you still have a few questions about when you should start revising and things my email is down below in the description and you can obviously comment as well <laughs> I would say one thing that's really important for these GCSE mocks are the fact that because it's not the real thing you still have time to experiment so try and do as many like different revision techniques as you can just for the sake of seeing what works for you and what doesn't because by by the time you get to GCSEs you should hopefully have figured out what sort of things work for you so for me I realized that that was flashcards and past paper practice uh, they're just my go-to every single time. One thing that is annoying about the GCSE mocks are that everything is cramped, like all the exams are cramped into a really short period of time. So you're literally constantly revising. You do an exam, you get home and you do more revision. But I felt like for my actual GCSEs themselves, it was so much more chill. There would be days where I'd literally have like three days of revision time uh, and then an exam. And then I'd just have like another day of a break or something. And it was just so chill. It was so much nicer. I would say that 
my GCSE marks, in my opinion, were more stressful than the GCSEs themselves. Um, a lot of that was due to the advanced information that we were given as well. That really helped for us as well, which sadly you guys don't have anymore. For me at least, a lot of the papers for GCSE were much longer than they needed to be, which was a good thing because it meant you had more time to check over your work, especially like the sciences for me. Uh, I never found them to be uh, a time restraint. I've never had a good time with English language in terms of timing. And the same thing happened for me in my uh, GCSEs as well even though I practice so so much to work on my time management and I'd say that the time management in my GCSEs was so much better than my mocks time management so I'm still happy about that but at the same time uh, it, time management is an important important thing so if you find that there's an exam during your mocks that you just don't get to finish for whatever reason and the exam wasn't that hard it was just you ran out of time um, then you do know that you're going to have to work on that for your GCSEs themselves so that is one thing that I find really useful about the mocks because once you see that you weren't doing well in some subjects you can just go over them and you know exactly where you are in your subjects and hopefully that can give you an indication in the direction you're heading as well. Apart from that though it's not that big of a deal like you'd complete your mocks and then it's fine uh, you get your results a bit later and um, we managed to get ours in like envelopes and things just like GCSE results say so that was really stressful for no reason. One thing I really really recommend is that once you've done your GCSE mocks papers to either somehow keep them or if the teachers are taking them in to uh, ask the teacher to uh, if you're able to like take pictures of every page and like put into a PDF document so you can always go over it at home because the questions that you get wrong in your GCSE mocks just make sure that you make uh, flashcards out of them or somehow memorize them, uh, especially if they're questions where you knew the content but you didn't know what the mark scheme wanted because it's really, really important to uh, be able to write in the way the mark scheme wants you to, not necessarily how you want to because sometimes mark schemes can be really specific, especially for the sciences. So uh, that is one thing that I really recommend you guys do. And apart from that, there's not really much else and I just want to say good luck for your mocks, good luck for your GCSEs themselves as well and hopefully I'll make a few more GCSE related videos. Uh, if you remember my nine week revision plan that I made uh, a year ago, it blew up right so I'm deciding to make another nine week revision plan like an improved one because the video was the most shambolic thing I've ever made like in terms of the editing quality it was all over the place and that was the video that blew up which I don't get how that works but um, yeah, so I hope you guys enjoyed this video. If any year 12s or 13s are watching this video, uh, make sure you comment down below some of your tips as well uh, and hopefully help uh, the year 11s too. And um, yeah, best of luck for your exams and I'll see you again next time.